Welcome to this Operations Bridge video tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to stream Linux system log data from the Operations Agent to Operations Bridge Analytics or OBA and analyze that data in OBA. You need at minimum OMI version 1061, OBA 301 and Operations Agent 1203. The first step is to install the OMI Management Pack for Infrastructure Add-on 2.0 Content Pack. The Content Pack provides out-of-the-box monitoring of Linux system logs. It contains an aspect comprising a collection policy and a data forwarding policy. The data forwarding policy needs to be updated with the URL of your OBA collector that will receive the log data. Then simply assign and deploy the aspect to the monitored node. After that, you can review the log data in OBA and create a dashboard based on that data. In this scenario, we create a dashboard which is based on HA proxy log data. In OMI, navigate to Administration, Setup and Maintenance, Content Packs and import the Content Pack zip that you get from the ITOM Marketplace. This installs an aspect containing a collection policy and a forwarding policy. Navigate to Administration, Monitoring, Management Templates and Aspects Select the System Infrastructure Aspects folder and edit the System Log Collection aspect. Let's examine the collection policy first. It is a generic output structured log file policy, which means it reads one or more log files for the purpose of forwarding some or all of that data through a forwarding policy to a receiver such as OBA. The source log file is a script that returns a list of log file names that it passes from syslog.conf. On the monitored node, syslog.conf writes to var log messages and so on down to haproxy.log. So these are the files the policy will read at each one minute polling interval where it reads whatever has been appended to the file since the previous polling interval. The OM pattern parses the log data and the schema tab defines the data to pass on to the data forwarding policy. The data forwarding policy defines what and to where you send the log data. The target is the OBA collector to which the data is being sent. Edit this to contain the URL of your OBA collector in the format shown on the screen. If the OBA collector is not reachable, then guarantee delivery will buffer log data locally and keep retrying until it is received by OBA. So check that box. Structured input contains a rule that forwards all data where the device vendor property is infrastructure to the OBA collector. Save and close the policy and close the aspect. The final OMI step is to assign the aspect to the monitored node. Enter the UTC offset. Here it is minus 0600 because the monitored node is running in US Mountain Daylight Time. Allow several minutes for the policy to find new messages written to the system logs and then log in to OBA. To view the received data, click search and then the text link to see all messages. It shows all logs and events for the past one hour. The 7000 messages come from three different sources. Log streaming messages are assigned to the plain log source type, so select plain log and click filter. The 3000 log streaming messages come from two hosts. Select the host to which we just deployed the log streaming monitoring to see all of its logs. To create an HAProxy dashboard, let's modify the search to match any log that mentions HAProxy on any host. Expand one of the log messages. OBA automatically parameterizes the log messages where it detects variations between similar messages. The histogram shows how many messages of this type have occurred in the time window. Click the parameter hyperlink to see how many of those messages had HTTP status 200 versus other status codes. It's clear that most of the messages are HTTP status 200. Let's filter them out and see if there are any interesting messages that could be useful for troubleshooting. 
There are many powerful operators. To filter out a range of HTTP status codes, use the REX operator to extract the HTTP status code as a field on which to filter. Highlight the 200 parameter and click Create Field from Selected Text. This adds a REX operator pre-populated with the entire log message and makes the HTTP status code parameter into a new field. You can replace the leading and trailing text with regular expressions and specify a GROC pattern to structure the field. In this case, match an int pattern and assign it to the field name HTTP code. Note the new custom field. It is a text field, so let's cast it as an integer. And then filter for the HTTP codes of interest. Finally, include all other HA proxy messages that are unrelated to web requests such as those related to configuration changes, restarts or errors. Once you have a search filter that represents the types of messages of interest, save it to a new dashboard by clicking More Actions, Copy Pane to New and enter a dashboard name. Click the dashboard icon and select the new dashboard to see the saved search. Let's go back to search and this time create a search that displays the amount of traffic being sent from the backend server to the clients. The log messages include this data in the bytes read field. Since HAProxy has multiple backend definitions, let's focus on just the BBC backend. And use the rex operator to create an integer field from bytes read. You can see the total number of bytes for each time interval by applying the moving sum operator. Let's add this search to the HAProxy dashboard. The HAProxy dashboard now contains two panes. Resize them. and give them meaningful names. You can also add a pane that graphs the log data. In this example, the number of requests for each HTTP status code is graphed. Finally, rearrange the panes as needed. You can now use this dashboard to search if there are any problems involving the HA proxy load balancer. A problem was reported earlier. You can see that there was no traffic from the server to any clients. The logs show the proxy reported that both backend servers went down and later came up again. There were no issues on HAProxy and you know there were no changes to the HAProxy configuration because there were no HAProxy restart log messages at that time. This points to either the backend servers or the network taller backend servers as the cause of the service disruption. To learn more about log streaming, see the OBA online help.